going to give you election a day break from the election as we start the election tonight. You can check your news stations for that. The Kansas City Chiefs played last night, and we'll also talk about the trade deadline. But first, here's the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs came out with a good start, except though Xavier Worthy didn't know where he was and didn't have a lot of awareness on that play that was out of bounds, and quite frankly on a lot of plays that was out of bounds, that would have brought the ball all the way down to about the one-yard line. And it said the Chiefs punted on a sack that was sacked by Patrick Mahomes that missed the chance of probably trying a field goal. A Chiefs field goal on the second drive, and then a punt, a punt by the Buccaneers, also a punt before the field goal by the Buccaneers. The Chiefs would then get a field goal, as I said. The Buccaneers would respond with a touchdown, a big third and nine completed for 13 yards. And then the Kansas City high school graduate, Rashid White, Scored a touchdown on a seven-yard run. That put him up top seven to three. A three. Everything started with a great catch over the top. It was the best catch I've ever seen. Here is that play. A better version of that play by NFL.com, but I won't put that podcast or that version up because of uh, copyright circumstances. It was a 35-yard play on that play, a which made it first and goal. On third and goal, it was back to Hopkins, up over the top, touchdown. A punt and a fumble by Kelsey, and that was unexpected. It was also another fumble that you've seen Kelsey make a lot of times in his career. He is not. He fumbles the ball some in in his career. Buccaneers could not put it in with 30 seconds to go. It was 10-7 at half as the Chiefs walked into the locker room. Walking out of the locker room, Sean Tucker caught a 42-yard pass. Good after that catch. A play from the 11. On that play was also a horse collar. 15 more yards. A 20-yard penalty with the tu- with the p- catch and penalty. A touchdown by Baker Mayfield made it 14 to 10. Another field goal made it 17-10 by the Buccaneers. A punt by the Chiefs. The Chiefs truly sounded like San Diego Chargers crowd. There was no energy. That's Sam Von Smack. The Chiefs fans are spoiled and rotten because of Patrick Mahomes is so good. The Chiefs would bring it back down to tie it for a touchdown as the Buccaneers got a field goal. That time it was a Simaze Pirine to tie it on a flip around uh, shot basketball play jump pass by Patrick Mahomes. But on that play he was injured. He hit his ankle again and Patrick Mahomes seemed to be okay as he went to the blue tent. Andy Reid, similar to the injury in the playoffs, Andy Reid told him, we're not doing this again. A long, grueling drive by the Chiefs, though. A 13-yard led to a DeAndre Hopkins touchdown again. A punt by the Chiefs, by the Buccaneers, but the Chiefs had a chance to put it away, but they did not. A touchdown late 
by the Buccaneers, tied it at 24. On a first and goal at the nine, the Chiefs would get it back on a first and on a first and goal from the nine. They got a first and ten from the nine. Play where I thought they should have ran the ball and called timeout towards the end of the game, but they did not. Other people shot. I thought a short pass would work. Well, that didn't work. And then Adriandre Hopkins up top play would have been my play or Travis Kelsey play, but it does that. It was mute as the Chiefs did not convert a second down and one or the third down and one. That brought the game into overtime, and a DeAndre Hopkins pass for 15, a Kelsey pass for 15. It was a cream hunt, bowling touchdown. Now that gave him the game of a touchdown on the play. Travis Kelsey went for 14. Cream hunt ended it. And Andy Reid said he didn't run the ball enough in the sec first half. A lot of credit goes to DeAndre Hopkins. Eight for 86 and two touchdowns. He changed the receiver, wide receiver positions for the Chiefs as of right now. A dominant player is DeAndre Hopkins, possibly the best since Tyree Kill. Travis Kelsey had 14 for 100. Kareem Hunt had 27, 106 for, and one touchdown, 106 yards. Patrick Mahomes looked like he formed back to normal. 291, three touchdowns for Mahomes. The Chiefs play Denver at Arrowhead Stadium first game, the first game at noon this year for the Chiefs. Shade deadline deals today. According to Adam Schefter, the Bears trade Kalee Herbert, running back for a seventh round pick. For a seventh round pick, I thought Herbert was pretty good. That was too less for the Bears to give up. Earlier in the day, the Zaire Smith from the Browns went to the Lions for a seventh round pick. The Browns got a fifth and a seventh. The Cowboys made a trade, but this time it was not for a one-year deal. Even though Jerry Jones still said he wanted to go for it, that was some blasphemous talk. Jonathan Mango has some potential. I'm surprised the Cowboys made a trade that did not go for it this season, but maybe that's why they didn't make the trade, because they are done. The Chiefs were in on the trade for Mushan Lattimore to the Commanders, but the Chiefs decided that was too rich. The Saints got a fifth-round pick and a fourth-round pick for that trade. Steelers get wide receiver Mike Williams on a perfect deal for the Steelers. He went from the Jets. A fifth rounder was given up. The Steelers will cover Williams' rest of his contract. The Steelers got a second de defensive player as well. This time it was on the defense. Peterson Smith and a seventh rounder to the Packers. To the Packers was Tredavious White. And a seventh round pick to the Packers in exchange for a 2026 seventh round pick. Could be a huge deal for the Ravens. I may have liked the Chiefs to be in on that deal. The 49ers got Cleo Davis from the Texans. The Chiefs didn't want to give up any critical capital. Uh... Kelly Davis to the 49ers in exchange for a 2026 seventh round 
per sources. And that's football! The Rams are sending Corvadius White for seventh, 2077th seventh round pick for a 2026 seventh round pick. Per sources, I would have liked the Chiefs to have been on, been on that deal for a cornerback. One final trade before the trade deadline was defensive tackle Kelly Davis to the 49ers in exchange for a 2026 seventh round per sources. And that's football. In college basketball, which has started up last night, Mizzou loses to Memphis by 10. Mizzou led by 10 at the end of half. Mizzou blew the lead again. The Tigers had a hard time with that last year. The Tigers blew the lead, and at the, ha at the second half, it was 85-78 was the final. KU wins 87-57 over Howard. KU's number one senior transfer from North Dakota State. Zeke Mayo had 19 points. Kansas Jayhawks are 1-0. Kansas State plays New Orleans to open up their season. UMKC beats Hannibal LaGrange University 91-68. That's Sam Bond Sports.